Hello, hello. Welcome to the live stream. Saturday live streams. We're back at it. Uh, we did it last week. We're back this week. If you're watching it live, welcome. Happy you're here. If you are watching the playback, it's my cat. If you're watching the playback, then thanks for watching. Uh, but those of you who are here live, I appreciate you being here. Go ahead and put something in the chat to let me know who you are. And maybe if you're wearing anything, any particular fragrance for the day. I don't have anything on at the moment, and there's a reason for that. And we will get to that shortly. But first, just wanted to take a few minutes, let some people join in and chat with you guys. Hey, Cam, good to see you. What's up, Dave? <laughs> you know, Dave, that may or may not be a prerequisite. I think you're onto something there. So those of you who want to be considered for the giveaway we're doing in today's live stream, you may want to give this video a thumbs up. You may want to. Thank you, Dave. Sphinx Elixir. Haven't tried them, but I've heard about the new brand. Sphinx. Lemensite. That's a good one. As far as simple fragrances go, it is good. So about Le Mal Le Parfum from last night. I just heard about Le Mal Elixir. Did you guys see that? I saw my friend Chris Fragmental. He posted about it on his Instagram page. It's a gold, shiny bottle. We're seeing some trends, but it looks beautiful. It's another flanker. We'll see what happens. But yeah, let me know if you guys have seen that one. Heard anything about it? Let's see. I wish I could. You know what? I wonder if I can find a, bot, a picture. I'm using my phone as a webcam, so I can't use uh, that to find. I'm going to have to use my iPad. Le Mal. There it is. Let's see if we can get a photo. I kind of doubt it. I don't even know where. Okay, there it is. Can we blow that up? This is on iFragrance, who is a pretty well-known blog and kind of highlights new releases. There it is, guys. That is Le Mal Elixir, apparently coming soon. Definitely an attractive bottle. Can't deny it. Anthony Laird du Desimarle Kane. Man, I need to... Get me another decan of that one. I haven't smelled it in a long time. Uh, I need to revisit that. Who else is here? Persephone's dad from Ohio. <laughs> Who said that? Tony. Save it from looking like an Academy Award. <laughs> yes, I agree. That's a great point. C3PO, yeah, you know. There's going to be the, the jokes. People are going to come in saying this looks like an Oscar or something. What's going on? The Mall Golden Shower. That is raunchy, my friend. Uh, Edgardo, we're waiting. What is your sin of the day? Um, Giancarlo, Hermes, H24, EDP. Good stuff. Good stuff. Happy Saturday, L Style. Uh, curls, sin of the day. All right, man. I need to, might need to spend more time with curls. I still don't really get down with it. Kansas City is in the house. Chris Irvin, Singapore, the pro bathroom singer. Love it. Yes. Thank you for the reminder. Um, if you guys didn't hear or you didn't see my post yesterday here on YouTube, later today, in fact, in about two hours or less than two hours, I'll be going live again, but on Equality Fragrances channel. Me and Ogun are going to go head to head, so to speak, and present 10 of our most intoxicating fragrance in a cipher-like format. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we hope to see you at his channel 
again, go to my community tab and you'll see the post I made yesterday. That's uh, the link is there and you can make sure you tune in for the live. It's going to be a good time. La Teresa, thank you so much for the super sticker. That means a whole lot. Thank you. <laughs> I assume you mean, uh, oh, by Rado. Okay, got it. Cool. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, thank you for uh, bringing that up. Let's see. Now, I think we should be expecting Shoshana, who is the owner and operator of Decant X. That is the reason why we're live today. Just to show you guys who are here on the stream, I have a box. In this box. See, my cat is waiting here on the ground trying to hop up onto my lap, but I don't want her to do that. Hopefully I can deter her from doing that. Inside this box are decants. I don't know what these fragrances are, as you could probably guess from the title of this video. The title is a little bit over the top, uh, but there is truth to it. I don't know what these fragrances are, and I'm going to be spraying them on my skin, on my arms, hands. I may or may not try to figure out what they are, but Shoshana has put them together. She has curated a list um, or a collection of fragrances that she thinks I would enjoy. I have no idea what they are. So we're going to be spraying them live. You'll see my first impressions, my reactions, and we'll see uh, how I feel about them. And at the end, after we smell everything, we'll be doing a giveaway. I'm not going to give away this box. I know it says that in the title, but the Canex is going to give away a duplicate box. So that's even better. You don't have to get stuff that's been sprayed. The, the Canex is going to send one of you the same box they sent me. And we're actually doing it. I think, Shoshana, if you are here and you want to correct me, I think we said we're going to do it internationally, maybe within certain limits. Uh, but I think we can swing that. If not, I apologize, but I think that can work. And I'll tell you how to enter the giveaway once we get there. Um, what I will tell you now, and I'll remind you later, if you're on a desktop computer, you're going to want to open a new blank tab. That's all I'll say. Um, if you're on your phone, you shouldn't need a tab, a new tab. You, if you're on the, especially if you're in the YouTube app, you won't need to open anything else. You just need to do some searching within YouTube. So that's what I'll tell you guys. That'll be coming up when we get there, of course. So um, I want to wait maybe two more minutes, let some people file in, and then we'll get started with some sniffing here. Uh, I see Cyril's in the house. Always good to see you. Fragrance Dubois. P.M. You might have to remind me exactly what that is. I can't really remember what that acronym could mean. But Cyril's coming from South Africa. Good to see you. Tyree, thank you so much for the super sticker, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not going to help you at all, Dave. James is coming from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Good to see you, sir. Siage Sniffington. Always good to have you. Thanks for being here. Try layering the Boss Descent Magnetic and CK Defy. I don't have either of those. I think those are both relatively new fragrances, and I haven't tried them. Martin. Good to see you, Martin. I see you pop up in my comments on my videos from time to time, and I always appreciate your comments. Greg, right? This is a killer view. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Um, let me see if I can show you guys without it destroying the connection here. I don't know if you can see in the distance Mount St. Helens. I don't know if you see that little white mound in the on the horizon. That is a volcano. Mount St. Helens. It erupted like, I don't know, 30-ish years ago most recently. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Uh, but it's a beautiful view. Never gets old. Ever. Okay. 
All right, so we're at the 10 minute mark. It's time to start sniffing. We're not gonna waste any more time. So um, yeah, once again, these are coming from Decant X. There is a link down in the description to their website. There's a little coupon code there. You guys know the deal. I've been talking about them for years now, basically since they started, which was like in 2020, which was quite a time to start a company, but they've been doing well. They got great service, great selection. They're always expanding. And um, I'm happy to be working with them. And they're just generous enough to send me some decants here. So again, I don't know what these are. I'm going to spray the first one. I'm not going to waste too much more time. I'm going to put this first one, nothing there, on my left hand. Penny, you're going to want to move. You're going to hate this. Watch out, girl. All right. Okay, we got the first one. Yep, she's out of here. <laughs> she doesn't like fragrances. Okay, let's see what we got. Here's the first one. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm getting leather, and I'll be, ooh, ooh. It's either leather and or oud. There's something kind of rough about it, almost, almost funky, but not really. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spice. It's kind of familiar. At first, it was reminding me a little bit of something along the lines of Tuscan leather or Fragrance du Bois Milano, but it's different from that. It's almost even getting a, a kind of a Roger vibe, but not really. Now, I'll be able to figure out what it is just by pulling out the cartridge inside of this case, but... This is good. I mean, stronger with you, Oud. I haven't smelled it, but I don't think so. If it is, I'd be surprised. The quality here is quite good. It's really nice. I could. I don't think I could tell you where it's coming from. It. It. It doesn't have a Raja feel. It doesn't have a Tom Ford feel. It doesn't really have a fragrance to Bois feel. It feels like niche, though. Suede is saffron. I don't know. It kind of smells like it could be that. I haven't smelled that one either, but it smells like it. So I don't know what it is. I don't know how to find out what it is, but we're going to pull out the cartridge. I'll tell you what it is, and then we'll look up the notes here on my iPad. Hello, cough. Oscar, I don't think it's Amouage, but let's find out. Let's pull it out. All right, here we go. Ah, okay. So this is coming from Memo. It's called Iberian Leather. So I was definitely getting leather. This is nice. Um, I'm curious what's in here. I am really curious. It could be saffron. Let's pull up some notes here, guys. Any of you guys tried Iberian leather? I'm going to pull it up on Fragrantica. You'll see the bottle and all that good stuff. Oh, beautiful bottle. Very regal. There it is. Iberian leather. Beautiful lion on it. So notes in here. There's quite a few. There is leather and oud, so I thought I was getting both. Uh, no, so oh, there is some saffron. Yep, saffron in the heart. Okay, geranium, coriander, rosemary, bergamot. I'm going to read these backwards. We got clove, saffron, cinnamon, iris, osmanthus, jasmine, rose, and lily of the valley. A lot of florals in the heart and some warm spices in the heart. And I think that osmanthus is helping with some sweetness as well. Uh, it is a little bit fresh up top, but not really. And the base is what I'm getting the most. Leather, oud, patchouli, uh, vetiver, oak moss, balsam, fir, amber, sandalwood, cedar, musk, and vanilla. Regis, yes, there will be a giveaway. For those of you just jumping in, first of all, welcome. Second of all, there will be a giveaway tied to this video at the end. I'm going to sniff five fragrances. Um, they're all completely blind, sent from uh, DKNX. And then at the end, after I sniff everything, I'm going to 
give you a way to win your own duplicate box that I'm sniffing here, this box. You'll win one just like it. Um, and once again, those of you, if you're on a desktop computer, you'll want to open up a new blank tab. Okay. All right. So that is our first one. Iberian leather. I had never smelled it. I had never planned to smell it. When did it come out? I feel like it's kind of new. This came out, yeah, just last year, 2022. Shoshana, if you're here, that's a great choice. She said she wanted to channel her inner Justin and try to match my taste. And so far, she's doing great. Okay, let's move on to the next one. My nose is going to be dead by the end of this, by the way. First, uh, next one up is purple. Royal color, the color of royalty. Hey, Boomer Face Plant, good to see you. Okay, again, no idea what it is. I'm going to put this one on the right hand. Here we go. One more good one. There we go. Okay. In the air. Already in the air. Purple. Lovely. It's funny because color can really influence what you smell. I'm smelling something kind of purpley, maybe almost like a clean lavender, kind of almost clean laundry feel, but there's more than that. I'm not bringing it up right away. Slowly, slowly. Purple suede. Tony says purple suede. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh, not what I expected. <laughs> it's pretty strong. Again, my nose is going to fall off. You guys are going to witness a nose detaching from someone's face live. I hope you two doesn't flag me. Okay, there's something kind of funky about this. Hmm. It's giving me Raja vibes. There's this kind of softness to it. In, in terms of like how it moves, but it's dense. It's very, very dense. There's like an almost kind of white floral funk. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it, but I'm just putting it up my nostrils right now. And as I tell you guys, that's not a great way to assess whether you like a fragrance or not, because you're not going to experience it that way when you wear it. I have no idea what this is, but it gives me Raja vibes. It's, it reminds me at the least, at least of some of his like white floral forward fragrances, stuff like Goodnight Kiss, stuff like. Um, I can't think of another one right now, but. I could be wrong about that. It's getting better. It is getting a little bit less punchy as it dries, is it? Apex, absolutely not. No, I actually wore Apex last night, and I really loved it. Uh, the Parfum version, and it did great. T. Summers is guessing it's a Montal. Funky cold Medina, not sure. Yeah, you guys are welcome to guess what you think it is. Dave says he thinks it's on wash. Excuse me. Okay. I'm curious. I don't know what this is. It's still slightly animalic, almost powdery, but not really. Kind of fresh, but not really. Definitely a little floral. Let's see. Ah. Not what I would have ever guessed at all. This is from Guerlain. It's called Essence, Encense, which is incense, I think. Mythique. Mythic incense. I would have never, ever, ever guessed that this was an incense fragrance. I kind of see it now, but it's nowhere near as like smoky or cooling smoky or even partially resinous as I'm used to. But let's see. I don't know if I love it. It is interesting, though, and it doesn't really smell exactly like anything else. Okay, no white florals, but aldehydes, yes. So that was giving me this kind of clean laundry feel. 
at least in the air. That was like, this is clean. Uh, we got rose and saffron as well. Heart notes, we got pink pepper, vetiver, and patchouli in the base. Ambergris, olibanum, and woody notes. So if you guys are not familiar, olibanum is essentially incense. That's one way that incense is achieved in perfumery. It's better. I'm getting more of the rose now. It's kind of almost jammy in a way. Definitely the floral quality I was getting. A little powdery, but not really. Interesting. I, what I like about it is that it doesn't really remind me of anything else. Um, in fact, people are saying it reminds them of what looks like another. Oh, they redid it. Okay, so there was a previous fragrance called Ensemble Mythique d'Orient, which came out 11 years ago. And then they maybe reformulated it, rebottled it about seven years later to look like that. So that's what we're dealing with. It's okay. Um, again, I appreciate it being different. It was a little bit much up close. Again, I got to take my own advice and make sure that I don't just judge it from here. Christian Bold is saying it's heavy in ambergris. I get that. Yeah, I'm totally getting it more as it dries. It gets very sweet and powdery. Okay. What's up, Jared? <laughs> Thank you, Jared. Yes, guys, it's free. Hit that like button. All right, let's keep it going. Number three, beautiful color scheme here. Shoshana, you picked a great palette. Here's green, a lovely green, very much spring. Okay, um, the Ensemble Mythique is all in the air right now. I think I'm getting a little bit of this in the air too, but this is very, very diffusive, the one I just sprayed. Okay, we're going to spray the third one on the left forearm let's see by the way guys this is not the greatest way to experience new fragrances more you know multiple at once they start to okay i like this i'm getting african leather vibes but i don't think it's african leather no it's not african leather it's a little bit more up close than it was in the air. In the air, it was kind of like warm, spicy, ambery, almost leathery in a way. But I could be getting Iberian leather mixing with whatever this is. But up close, there's something kind of animalic about it. Like an agar wood or something like that. Um, I think I like it a little bit more than the Guerlain so far. Do I have Fougere? Palatin. I don't have it, but I do have a fragrance that I'm going to film an unboxing on that was sent to me by a subscriber. I don't know if you're here, Malcolm. He sent me Fougere d'Argent, which I'm ecstatic about. I haven't opened it yet. I'll be filming a video on that soon. Um, okay. This is almost familiar. Shoshana, you picked some good ones here. This is like, <laughs> this is some complex stuff. Complex stuff here. I'm getting a slightly funky woodiness. It's warm. It's kind of almost ambery sweet, but up close, way less so than in the air. There's an edge to this. I'm getting that familiar, almost rubbery, Feel that I sometimes get from agarwood or leather or kind of a mix of the two. Let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Hey, Malcolm, good to see you. It's almost burnt rubbery, and it's not terrible, but um, but it does kind of like get in the way. At least that association doesn't smell like that. Don't get me wrong, but some there's an element of that in here. Okay, we're going to open this up. I'm curious what's going on here. Hmm. Okay, this is from Sospiro called Tenore. Tenor. This is from that collection they have that is all very musical based. There's vibrato, there's basso, there's tenore here, all Italian. Um, I do have vibrato. 
I uh, there's a lot of hype around that one. And I have a video coming out tomorrow, including that fragrance in, in a very honest way. So just watch out for that. We're going to look up the notes to Tenore. Yes, it is ambery for sure. OK, so I think it was that leather that was giving me that rubbery facet. Lavender, lemon, lily of the valley, resin, leather, spicy notes, and clove. Clove is also a spicy note. It's always funny how they separate those. Woody, amber, musk, patchouli. I wonder if this reminds people of anything else. Some people say it reminds, well, one person said it reminds them of Amouage Epic. I can kind of see what they mean by that. There's a slight similarity. It doesn't look like a ton of people have reported about this fragrance. It only has four votes on Fragrantica. It is relatively new. I think this whole collection came out just last year. Have any of you guys tried uh, Tenore from Sospiro? Let me know. Did we level up the setup? We tried, Divine. At least I got a new camera here. And hopefully the view is nice. Side effect is good. Krishna, I assume... Oh, maybe you're talking about uh, the Tom Ford. Okay. Patchouli 24. Nice. Okay. Let's keep it going. We got two more. And then we'll be doing the giveaway, guys. Once again, I will say it. If, you're, if you just jumped in, if you're on a desktop computer, then you want to enter into the giveaway. And I'm, again, pretty certain that DKNX will be doing, a, in, uh, if I could speak, an international giveaway. Uh, maybe within limits, but I'm pretty certain. So again, desktop computer, you're going to want another uh, want a new tab. If you're on your phone, you should be okay. Here's our next one. We got red here. I'm hoping that it doesn't influence what I smell, but it it just might because psychology. Here we go. Nothing there, right? Yeah, I don't want to mix anything. That would be a mess. Here we go. Again, I'm destroying my nose. I will be taking a shower after this, by the way. Oh. Excuse me, guys. That just slapped me in the face. This is, I keep saying it's something familiar. This is familiar. I'm not bringing it up to my nose yet. I can smell it. It, it hit me with a hot spiciness. Again, that could have been the red, but I don't know. It just like wow, just got me. <sighs> Reggie is asking, is Sospiro in the house of Zerzhov? It is one of their uh, subsidiary or, you know, adjacent houses. As far as I understand, in addition to Casa Morati and Kemi, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. different up close this is almost gourmand but in a weird way there's something kind of milky about it there's something kind of warm spicy almost like cinnamon like a chai tea vibe in a way a little lactonic warm smooth creamy a little sweet almost vanilla like but there's something odd here. There's one element that is really odd. It's like what I just described reminds me of a fragrance that I love from Javoy called Remember Me, uh, perfumed by Cecile Zorokian. That one is a beautiful kind of milky, almost coffee, uh, you know, sweet, warm, spicy cinnamon kind of vibe. Very, very delicious smelling. Also similar to Cafe Cabanel from Teo Cabanel, which Cecile Zorokian, also perfumed. This is reminding me of that vibe if you've smelled those fragrances. But there's something here that is strange. I can't tell you what it is. It's like, and it's fleeting. I smell it in my first whiff. And by the time that whiff is at the back of my nostrils, it's gone. If that makes any sense. Someone's asking, is it coffee? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, yeah, it really did hit hard. 
<laughs> yeah, I've done that plenty of times in many places. Um, hypnotizing fire. Hmm. I I think I have smelled that one, but it's been a, a few years. My friend Cam actually uh, sent me a sample set. Grease Charnel? No, it's not Grease Charnel. We're going to find out what it is. I'm going to keep you guys from waiting for any longer. Again, would have never guessed this is what it is. I probably got some of these notes wrong, I'm pretty sure. This is from Carolina Herrera. It's called Amber Desire. I imagine this is from their Privé line or whatever they have. I'm not familiar with their more higher-end fragrances. Have any of you guys smelled Amber Desire? It is a little ambery, but I was getting more gourmand uh, vibes from this. It was kind of making my mouth water. Okay. Beautiful bottle. Haven't smelled any of these fragrances. Are you guys familiar with this collection from Carolina Herrera? I, people have been recommending them here and there, um, saying that they're great. But I just have kind of overlooked them because I haven't been impressed by the brand at all over the past few years. They've just been putting out, honestly, just generic, basic stuff. Uh, with their uh, bad boy line in particular. But here are our notes. Simple note breakdown. I can see why it gave me gourmand vibes. We have amber. We have dates and vanilla. Totally getting that. Labdanum, which usually contributes to the amber accord. It's always funny when they separate those once again, unless they're using some kind of standalone amber uh, you know, material that is synthetic. Uh, we got rose, cinnamon, patchouli. Okay, so I was definitely getting vanilla and cinnamon and something delicious. And I think maybe the dates contributed to that. But nothing lactonic. This is really nice. This, it is a little simplistic as per the uh, note breakdown. But you know what? It's so funny. I was getting angel share vibes and I see here. That it's the second one there. People have said it smells like angel share. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't say it, but I was getting not in a good way for me. I get this interesting kind of burnt rubbery feel from angel share on my skin. And I was getting the same thing here with Amber Desire. And I it's so funny. Yes, I was totally getting Angel Share vibes. It doesn't smell just like Angel Share, but it has a facet of it that is similar. It's kind of unique. Um, it is overall quite smooth. It's it's getting smoother as it dries down. I like it. Um, what I say I like it the most so far. Ooh, Iberian leather has gotten so green. Uh, Ansan Smithique is the aldehydes are still screaming off this thing. It's quite fresh. This one, uh, what was this again? I already forgot. <laughs> what was this last one I just sprayed before? It was, uh, oh yeah, Sospiro Tenore. I'm not loving the Sospiro at the moment. It's okay. It, it's getting, it's better than it was. I will say that. This might be, this is so warm. This is such a warm fragrance, this Amber Desire. I like it. It's very easy to smell in terms of just like a profile. It's just like easy on the nose. It's kind of delicious and maybe a little intoxicating. However, there's not much here. It's coming off kind of, again, simple. Uh, and, you know, a little unique, but not really. It feels like it's missing something. Like there's parts of the fragrance that are not here. There's not a ton of dimension, but that's okay. It does have a, you know, kind of a definitive identity for what it is. So that is Amber Desire, guys. Okay, we have one more fragrance to smell. And then we're going to do the giveaway. I know you all are ready. Once again, if you are just joining in, we're about to do a giveaway, giving away a box duplicate to this that will have five decants coming from Decan X. And again, if I'm not mistaken, it will be an international giveaway. You'll have to answer a question in the comments. 
If you're on a desktop computer, you'll want to open a new tab. If you're on your phone, you should be fine as long as you're in the YouTube app. Uh, yeah, Cecile's one of my favorite perfumers for sure. Have I had a chance to try plum and cognac? I have. I tried it when it first came out. That's a lovely fragrance. I just have a decant somewhere. I don't know where it is. Ratan Carr, good to see you. I'm great. How are you? Thanks for joining. Okay, we got one more fragrance to spray. I don't know where I'm going to spray it. I've done my hands. I've done my forearms. The wrist is left. So I'm going to do the wrist here. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's all every everything here. The, the Iberian leather and the uh, Tenore are all just kind of fighting here. Do I want to spray there? I want to give it a good chance. Um. This is the problem with skin. I think that might work. I'm going to shower it all off anyway, so it doesn't matter. But as long as I can smell it, as long as you guys don't mind me looking ridiculous doing that, I'm going to spray it right here. I would never, ever spray my fragrance right here. Okay. Spicy, warm. Oh, 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 this is opening up. Okay. I was like, I don't know what I'm smelling. It's like, felt like I was smelling a closed flower. Now it's blossoming. This is interesting. I'm getting a slightly um, vintage feel, like an old school kind of vibe, almost barbershop, but edgier than that. That's kind of fading now. Definitely spicy, a little warm. <clears throat> Whatever this is, I like it. I think it's the most interesting of all five so far. Some people were saying inside of the elbow. Yeah, I totally should have just sprayed there. But I think Iberian leather is like right here. And then I have... Uh, Amber Desire, that's like kind of right here. So vicinity is a little too close without contaminating. I like this. I'm getting a slight designer vibe just in terms of the, the quality, but the profile is different. Like it could be like a Privé line from a designer house or something. So, yeah, it's kind of warm, spicy. There is a bit of a freshness to it. A little sweet, but not like vanilla, not like a resin. A little edgy in a way. I don't. What is this? Maybe floral? Let's see. I'm so curious. Okay. Okay, I do like this house. This is Algabra. Have you guys heard of Algabra? Parfum, and they call this Labyrinth of Spices. It's a little cut off there with the label, but Labyrinth of Spices. This is good stuff. Let's pull this up. I'm going to look it up. I have one other fragrance from them that I do enjoy called Scent of Paradise. That one is a little similar to Creed Silver Mountain Water, but I like it more than Silver Mountain Water. So what do we have in Labyrinth of Spices? Oop. There it is. I like the presentation. It's simple. I wonder if I can grab my bottle. My bottle is one of the white ones. Let's see if I can. All right. Yes. So this is the bottle I have, Scent of Paradise. Very simple, but I love like the thick base that they have and, you know, not magnetic cap, but it is a metal cap and good quality stuff. Great atomizers and anyway, beautiful, elegant, simple, but it works. Okay, let's see what we got in Labyrinth of Spices. Constantine, good to see you joining from Germany. Tobacco, Turkish coffee beans. I think this is a Turkish brand. Uh, pineapple, labdanum. Interesting. 
heart of clove, nutmeg, cinnamon, car, all the spices, anise, to uh, tonka bean and lavender and base of amber, sandalwood, oak moss, vetiver, musk. This is this is really nice. I'm trying to think. It doesn't really remind me of anything I've ever smelled before. It's pretty unique. Uh, yeah, people have tried this. I see some things people are saying. I would say, again, the scent profile itself, it smells very different. It smells well put together. It it came off a little bit scratchy, just a touch. But remember what we're dealing with here. I've, this is the fifth fragrance I've smelled on my skin up close. My nose is dying. So you guys have to bear with me in that regard. But those are all five fragrances we smelled all five i'm going to rate each one let's go back to the first one iberian leather again it's gotten quite green this this is a, a solid seven out of ten i don't love it it's definitely giving me fragrance dubois milano vibes that is also quite a green leather it's fresh there's a little sweetness but it smells a little bit like that. Okay, next was, I guess it was the Ensemble Mythique. This has gotten better. It has gotten, I forgot who said it, but they said um, it gets sweeter and more powdery as it dries. It does. I'm getting more of the ambergris. I'm still getting aldehydes. Still kind of fresh in a way. And not a ton of incense. It is one of the least incense -y incense fragrances i've smelled but it's nice it's coming off a little light but i actually really like it it has a vibe to it it's quite unique i like it um i would say that's my favorite one of the maybe top two i'm, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of ten we'll let the ratings decide eight and a half out of ten okay let's go to Tenore. Is there vetiver in this? I need to look that up because I'm getting a lot of vetiver. No vetiver. There are woods, though. I'm getting like this familiar bitter woodiness. Not my favorite. Tenore, six and a half. It's okay. Um, it doesn't have a whole lot of character to it. I'm just getting like, kind of like slightly spicy, warm, bitter woods. It's okay. It's also a little leathery. Um, Amber Desire from Caroline Herrera. This is nice, but it's all blended together to just kind of smell like amber. It doesn't, there's not a lot of dimension here. Um, Also a six and a half, like 6.75. I will say I like it more than the Tenore, so I'm going to give it slightly higher. 6.75. It's nice. It's just kind of like there's not much here. Uh, finally, we have um, Labyrinth of Spices. This one is really nice. Very different. I'm curious to wear it. I really am curious to see what it's like around me. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, which means that Ensemble Mythique, I think, is my favorite one, which was the one in purple, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, from Guerlain. Ensemble Mythique. This stuff is nice. It's funny. It was like the weirdest one to me at first. Now I really like it. It has a quality to it that is so nuanced. It kind of dances. It's not just like a plate where you smell everything all at once. It, there's some dimension. There's depth. It, you get some parts in the air. You get some parts up close. And even up close, you get things that dance in the nose. It's really nice. So Ensemble Smithique from Guerlain. That would be one to check out. And you'll easily be able to check it out if you enter into the giveaway. Speaking of... It's time for the giveaway, guys. All right. Here's what you have to do. Get ready. Because the first one to answer this question, 
is going to win the giveaway? This is the question. A little bit of trivia here, but it's research trivia. I don't think anyone here is going to outright know this. And if you do, then you're a real one. But I won't be surprised if you don't know the answer to this without looking it up. Your task is to go on my channel and figure out what was the first single fragrance dedicated review video that I published. First one to comment wins. The first dedicated single fragrance review video that I did. I see Tony appears to be the first one. Tony, you got to tell me, how how did you know that? You got it so fast. Did you happen to know or were you able to, to search it super quick? I am super curious because that was seconds. Tony was the first one. Let us know, Tony. How did you figure it out? Well, maybe you just searched it, but you searched quick. You got some great internet. <laughs> you got some great internet or a great cellular connection. Tony Tavares. Tony Tavares is our winner. I actually recently mentioned in a different video. I thought it was something else. I don't think so, Divine. I, I'm not sure what you're referring to exactly. Um, yeah, Tony. Tony's our winner. Justin Flint, Varvato's Vintage. No, I came to Varvato's Vintage later. Uh, Tuscan Leather was the first video. I'll pull it up for you guys. I'm not going to show you the video. I don't encourage you to watch this video because it's a terrible review. This one right there, that's the second video that is published on my channel. Tom Ford Tuscan Leather Review. It is a horrid review. Horrid camera angle, horrid lighting, horrid review, but it was honest. So, yes, I had a little sample and I uh, reviewed it then. Tony says, I seem to remember you saying it once before, but I hedged my bets and opened up your page and the off chance your question was about your own content. Okay. You were smart about it, Tony. Great work, man. Great work. So, um tony i believe we're connected on instagram if i'm not mistaken um if i'm i just want to make sure tony can you let me know i think you're on instagram and i think we are connected um let me see, let's check on my computer here real quick actually i don't know if i can do that they don't let you search let me see, let me see, Tony Tavares. Okay, you are on Instagram. I don't think I'm following you. It looks like your account is private, but you're following me. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow you back. Shame on me for not following you back. Um, so what I'm gonna do, Tony, is I'm going to DM you. Um, and I'll get you in touch with DKNX and we will make sure you get your box so to everyone else who didn't quite get it fast enough it's okay um i do apologize we just have one box to give away we'll probably do this again sometime um this was fun lots of good stuff so tony you're going to get a chance to check out all the fragrances i just smelled again courtesy of dknx and the rest of you guys I implore you to check out their website if you haven't even ever looked at their website yet. It is linked in the, uh, I can never say that right. It's been six years and I can't say that. It's linked in the description, in the description, da, 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 da. It's linked in the description. There's a discount code. You can save some money if you are interested. So thank you all for tuning in once again in about an hour's time, a little bit more than an hour, I'll be going live on a quality fragrances channel. If you're not sure how to find that, go to my community tab. You'll see I made a post yesterday with the link. I want to see you guys there. It's going to be probably a lot of people there. We're expecting a pretty good turnout and we will be sharing some 
incredible fragrances and just having a great time. So thank you all for tuning in. Really appreciate you guys. Take good care. Hopefully I'll see you shortly. Peace.